Thank you. I'm Phil Lempert with the new product Tits and Misses. First up, it's Kettle Brand Potato Chips Sweet and Salty. I'm typically a huge fan of Kettle's flavors, but this combination of sugar, dried cane syrup, salt, and sea salt just doesn't work. It actually tastes more like a kettle corn than a potato chip. Their potato chips are so good. How about just adding a bit more salt and a bit less sugar? Be who you are. Retails for $2.99 for five ounces. Total score is 83. Pirates Blend Sauce Marinade Coco Mango. So here's a very different sauce. I shook it gently, opened up the cap, and look what happened. It's like a volcano. I then tasted another. This one didn't shake it, and it's actually a very aromatic and tasty sauce. I like the ingredients where they call out the percentages on some of them, like mango, 19%, coconut, 7%, orange juice, 4%, cayenne pepper, 1.5%. But what about telling us how much water, sugar, oil, and salt, all of which are listed before the cayenne pepper? Retails for $5.85 for 10 ounces. Total score is 83. Up next is Jeff's famous beef jerky, cranberry jalapeno. I just came back from the candy expo, and one of the biggest trends is all the new jerkies. This one is made from beef with a recipe of cranberry and jalapenos. For me, this is a bit too sweet, and I really don't taste the jalapeno. One third of the package is just 70 calories, two grams of fat, one gram of sugar, but does have 10 grams of protein. It's a great alternative to the traditional candy bar. One recommendation is to use more of the fruit juice concentrates and less of the high fructose corn syrup. Retails for $6.99 for three ounces. Total score is 83. Magnum brand ice cream bars, mini gold bars, it's a hit. When these first came out a couple years ago in the big size, I wasn't a fan. This new recipe, which has a caramel swirl and golden chocolate coating, tastes terrific and is just the right size. This mini bar is just 170 calories, 12 grams of fat and 14 grams of sugars. Now, the weird thing is that they show the serving size as both one or two bars. Hey, don't make people feel bad for just eating one, which is the right size portion. Retails for $5.49 for 11.1 .1 fluid ounces. That's six bars. Total score? is 87. Mingo's Pepper Butter Mild. Hey, this is our hit of the week. This has a wonderful aroma and a rich and spicy flavor. The name is misleading because there's no actual butter in the product. It's a combination of jalapeno peppers, sugar, water, vinegar, flour, and spices. They suggest mixing it with cream cheese for a dip or as a rub on a chicken or a roast, or even spreading it on toast with peanut butter. The good news is that it's versatile and tastes great. The bad news is it might be confusing just how to use it. Retails for $6.49 for 16 ounces. Total score is 91. Hey, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any episodes. And for more information on the products I just reviewed, go to supermarketguru.com. For our other web series, just click on the links to my left. And I'm heading to taste some more. Yeah.